Howdy lovelies, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our crafting where we learn, grow and craft together. Today we are sewing in the signatures and making and adding some extra tuck spots in the journal and hopefully going to add some of our ephemera or goodies to, to the journal and starting to complete that. I hope you will find today's session enjoyable seeing that we are coming to an end of this current series what's in the basket now sewing in the signatures sometimes and i've heard people say this sewing it in is really overwhelming they find it a little bit too difficult it's actually not so difficult i'm quickly going to show you with a sweet little diagram i prefer to use the three hole method which means and i will draw it here i hope you can see this if this represents the three holes in the journal what we're going to do is we're going to start on the inside for each one of these um, signatures that we're going to add we will have to have these three holes we're going to make a quick guide to help us in this process so it's really not so difficult i call it or refer to it as the pretzel method why the pretzel method we're going to start with string it can be long so i'm drawing you know i'm a teacher so i love to make it practical go through and we can go to the right side or the left so let's go to the left side all the way across on the inside coming back to the outside of the signature and through that same hole and then we're going to tie it tighter pull it tighter and tie it up so that's why i refer to it as the pretzel method so we start on the inside the middle of our signature the first signature whether it's the the front one or the back one or if you have more than that if you maybe have three, start with the back one, then the middle one, and then the other. And I will show you how to adjust this guide that we're going to make to help you get it in a straight line. Now, you pull your thread. We're going to use dental floss. And you're going to push it through that with a needle, through the middle hole, to the left side, in through the last hole, pull it tight, come all the way across to the third hole, push it out to the outside of that, which will be the outside of the cover, right? And bring it back into that middle pull it tight and then we're going to tie it and cut off the excess string now let's get going with our little guide it's not difficult if you keep this in mind i'm going to use my paper trimmer with a piece of what was this packaging material this was my cutter's packaging so from the two signatures in my first signature the smallest paper is four and a half in the second signature, it's only four. So I'm going to cut. Remember, our spine is four inches. So let's start with that. Going to go across. It's easy with a cutter. We're going to cut it. There we have the spine, four inches. From here, I'm going to, because the shortest piece of paper is four inches. So you can do it longer and you can just mark four inches where you want to. And then you can reuse this over and over. I'm, however, just for simplicity, going to cut this off at four inches so that you have it. Now, I'm going to just score this i need to get my scoring tool at two inches why at two just so that i have the middle of the spine so two inches because it's four white i don't want to have my signatures right at the very ends so i want to have that at about three inches each which will give us a lot of space so i'm going to again score at one on this side and three on that side so in other words, I went in one inch from the midline and one inch this side so that my two signatures will be equally distributed in this journal. You can, however, do it a little bit closer if you want or a little bit further apart. I don't want to have mine that far to the end because then it's right up onto the covers. So I like to have it on the three inch mark and one inch mark. This is helpful. If you decide ahead of time how you want to space it if you maybe have five say you have five signatures that you're going to add not everyone will have then 10 pages it could maybe be seven pages or five so you can work it down so you can do three quarter inches to work it in and still have some space at the end um that is really up to you where you want to add your signatures to your spine and to the cover now i'm going to turn this over i also want to have the midline on this so you might think what is all the scoring going but it's just helping us to get things in the middle so this will be our first hole where those two lines are intersecting and then on this one 
I want it to fall out again on this side and that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it at one and a quarter. One and a quarter. And the same here, which would be one and a quarter would then be there. And this will be our guide. So where those lines are intersecting would be where the holes would be. Now we're not going to, if there was one, it would be in the middle. But for this, it would be at this line. And we can keep this for another of our journals too. So this guideline will help us to get it right in the middle. So I'm going to fold this over and you can see that it is perfectly. And that would then be the next part, which is quarters right. And there we have the place where we will then put the holes. Seeing that we only have two signatures, we will use that line and this line. You can also do it this way if you want, because it is a four by four inch square. I'm going to take this way and grab the cover. Let's get started. So our cover had some good time to rest and dry and be perfectly well. No, nothing is wet still. It's really, really amazing. This is stuck well. And these ones can stay stand the test of time. So let's get started. I'm going to push the holes through this first so that you can see. Now for this, we need a ruler because we need to just see where is the middle of this. Remember, our spine is nine inches. So what we need to do is within that nine inch space, basically, there we have it lined up, more or less in the middle, we need to get four and a half. I'm going to draw a line, we can rub this out a bit later. So four and a half is there. Just draw a line across so that we have that sorted. If you line this then up, which should be there, you can darken this and there a little bit so that you have it. Line it up, this is then where we're going to add our holes. I'm going to use this very long needle that I have. You can use an awl if you want to. If you are um, scared that you will not make a proper hole, you can use a nail, which is a bit thicker. You can use an awl. I just do it on my cutting mat, which will then protect my work surface as well. So I'm going to just poke holes in there, the middle of that, and move this, and on this intersecting line. And I know I did color across the intersections, but it wasn't perfectly in the middle. There we go. Now you can see the holes there, and I'm going to just wrap out this line that I have drawn here. We don't want that in our journal. There we go. So keep this for later. We will use that to add our holes in the signatures. So I'm going to just go ahead and poke these holes through, make sure they go through. Remember we had some texture paste on this as well. And just go through with that, make sure it goes through and on this side too. Once this is done, you are halfway there. Now this one might be a bit thicker because, okay, I thought there was texture paste. It felt a little bit more difficult to go through. There we go. And there we have it. The holes are poked in. And this is the hardest part. Now, which signature do I want to have first? I think I like this one. Mm, quite a thing. Now, we just need to open this up. Let me just grab a few paper clips so that we can keep this together. I don't want this to move, though. How many pages did I add? <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to put the paper clip there, one this side, just to hold the paper in place. You can also add one this side. Just make sure that you push the metal in so that they not far apart. And they have that. There. We'll do it with the same with the other one. Now, yes, there is a page on the outside that this won't be. Oh, it actually just, just, just barely include that there. And we will do it with, this, with the other signature as well. Two more paper clips. Let's find the middle. And there we go. Just hold that together. Again, just make sure that is right in the middle, not too far out. And we're going to also keep it together with a paper clip. So there we have that. Again, we're going to use the guide so that we can now have the same. So here yeah, we're going to do the same thing, four and a half inches, so that we can get to the middle. 
Now this is only eight and a bit. So I'm going to just move it down so that it's more or less in the middle. Then I'm going to just mark the four and a half inch mark so that I can add that. Same with this one. Some of the pages are a bit longer. This is eight and a half. Move it down so that it is equal. Again, mark four and a half. If only I can see. And there we have it. So let's use that guide. Doesn't matter with which one you start. We're going to use embroidery floss. No, we're not. We're using dental floss. Sorry. Not too long apart. You don't want it to not. Just thread it through the thread it through the needle, which I can't ever see. Like never. Third time lucky. So, pretzel method. We are going to push it through. First, we're going to make the holes. So to get the first one. I just want to get that there so I can see the mark. Right. This we need to do in the middle. So don't get confused. This needs to be attached to the outside here. But we need to use the middle guide to make the holes. Don't move the, the guide. Then you have that perfectly well. Just hold that in place and then you poke it in the other corner. Now it takes a little bit of... I moved it, but it doesn't matter. I can just poke it through right on that edge, the middle fold line. And for this one, again, just to line it up, I'm going to poke it there just to get the same spot. If you just have the, the marker for the first one, you can push it through. And don't poke your fingers on the other side. Just push it through. And there you have it. The holes are made for that signature. Same thing for this one. Poke it through in the middle because we need to sew it into this place. And this one is a bit thicker. I guess I have added quite a few extra page, uh, pages to this one. Again, I move the guide, but I have the middle. So now just the intersecting lines there for this one. Push it through. If you battle, you can push the needle onto the cutting mat. And there we have it coming through. Same here. Again, just make sure you've got it lined up. Hold this in place and mark your spot there. Push it through, make sure your fingers are not in the way. And there we have the lines with a guide. I will just be rubbing out that little line as I don't want that in the middle of my journal. This one, the same, just going to rub out that little mark. And there we have it. You can at this point, if you want to, and you decide you want to change the, the order of your things, you can do that because the holes are in. You can easily fix that and change the order of your pages in your signatures. Right, let's get started. Remember, when we put this in, we start from the middle. So I'm going to turn my cover so that I can work on that part. And this one did move a bit, but it's okay. So, I try to line it up with my needle or all, and then just pull it through. Try to hold a piece onto this. And then Push it through this side, if only I can see. That's the worst part of filming at night, is that I can't always see so very clearly. And there's the hole. So we go all around. Don't pull this one out too far. Now we're going to go all the way over. Make sure you keep this one intact. This little paper now keeps on falling off. That is going out too far. We will get it all together now. And through that hole. Now, while you have this, make sure you don't pull anything out. This needs to be tightened. And 
and we're going to pull it through there. And then again through the middle hole in there. Get this together again and through that same hole. And how is this possible that it moved so much? But we can line it up. And there, out in the front. So for now it's bucking a bit, but we will tighten all the strings in at the tip. There we have that. And I'm going to let's just make sure I am in the across twice. And I bring it one underneath. Then I tighten it in the middle. You can use embroidery floss, you can use twine, and there we have it. I'm going to just cut this off if I can just get this floss to work with me. And there we have that. Now for the second signature. The one is almost done, and now for the second one. There we have that. I'm going to just clip this onto the cover for now, just so that this can just stay out of my way for a moment. And that little page will be flapping about, but it's not an issue. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Push it through, get the thread, and start with this signature. Again, just take a piece of floss. Thread it through your needle, and we're going to do the pretzel stitch on this side as well. Now, if you want to turn it over, just remember to turn your signature over as well. However, I will be using this one. We've got the hole, so we don't need that. Again, we're going to push it through the middle so that we can line it up. This one, hold onto the string so that it doesn't pull right through. Push it through that hole. I hope I am in view for you. If not, I am truly sorry. It is kind of... Let me move it this way, then I can also see. Push it in through that hole. Oops, I just... There we go. Put it right through. Don't put it too far, so that you don't pull your string out. Into the third hole. Why is this feeling funky? Oh, there we go. It's going now. Right through to the outside. Just make sure you keep pulling that one back in, so that it doesn't pull out and then back in the middle just make sure you get this into the hole again and there we have it we're going to pull this out tighten this and just make sure all of this is tightened I always use way longer than is needed but that way I know there's enough to go through and I keep tying it a few times because the embroidery floss is embroidery. I keep on saying embroidery floss. The dental floss is waxed, so it can slip. I just do double knots, making sure that it will last and not come undone. And one over. And one to the other side. There we go. And one last one, just, just to make sure. If you are scared of the sewing method, which I call the pretzel method, remember I showed you through the middle, on the outside, come around through that hole, tighten it, go all the way across to the third hole, go out to the outside of the cover and into the middle. The five hole stitch, we will try that at another time, just to show you it is not so intimidating. I hope this little visual would help you that you can see because when the paper pulling in this way and that way and it's in your face and it can be a little bit difficult to see. But there we have our signatures. They're in. Just take that or those paper clips off. And I want to show you 
So there we have it. Yes, right now it looks like what is happening here, but there's enough space for nothing to, to hang out. And there we have the stitching on this side. I hope you can see that. I will point it out. The three holes there and three holes that side. So time for us to add a few little belly bands. You can always add a pocket here. We might still do that. Something here. Let's see. Let's grab a little thing and see what is there. I'm going to put this a little bit out of sight just so that we have some space to work with and we can then start with this. I just want to put my needle back into the package. Otherwise, next time I will be looking for it and, you know, looking for a needle in a haystack is really not my idea of fun. So we've got loads and loads of goodies all over the show, things that we can add. I would love to, to add them right about now and start putting them in. Let me just get the light a little bit to this side. I hope it's not flashing too much again. Get my little clips and paper clips that we can add these things. Now here we already have a little natural tuck spot at the bottom here. What I'm going to maybe I should just change this around. Add a little bit of glue there just so that the pocket is closed. That way we can have a functional pocket. And yes, I'm going to grab a baby wipe and just wipe the excess glue while rubbing that. There we go. So if there's one this side, there will be one on the other side because that was a double pocket, yes. So somewhere in here, there's another one. Let's go ahead and put glue there as well so that we have the pocket. And we can add things in there. Now you can, for those of you that have the art glitter glue, then it's got that fine tip nozzle. I bought myself little bottles with a metal tip. However, because it doesn't have a proper cap, you only put a pin in, I find it clocks from the one time to the next, it's clocked. So I'm not particularly fond of that. I want to add some things. Let's get started. I'm going to use a little paper clip. These are the Tom Holtz paper clips. Remember, this is our hidden journaling spot that I'm adding here on the first page. I think it will look very nice there. I'm going to add it with a tiny paper clip. If I can just get it to work properly. And there we have that added. Maybe a little tag. I still like that tag. What else to add? We really have so many things to, to choose from that we will probably have more than we need. Just looking at it all again is just amazing to see. We can add one of these, seeing that we have Okay, will we do that? Maybe not right away. We really have loads and loads and loads. Probably way more than we would need. Some of it can really go over to a different journal vintage inspired theme. We don't have to add all of this, but it would be lovely to try and add as much as possible. So much, so much, so much. Neither one of these three pockets that we made um, are specifically mushrooms, so they can easily go over and be ready for the next project. That's the beauty of using. Of course, the big tags needs to go in. I just love them. Absolutely love them. Add so much color and texture. I think I'm going to add this one to the outside. That can be a beautiful pocket. Beautiful tuck spot. Now we lose a little bit of journaling space now with it because the back would have given us quite a bit of journaling space. It'll take a minute or so to just settle. But while I'm holding on to that, let's see what else we have in here. Beautiful embossing powder, texture on this, the graphics from those ephemera Field notes, ephemera pieces are just amazing. So much, so much. What to use and what to leave and all kinds. I want to add some of everything. Literally some of everything. Paper clip. Let's add a little paper clip somewhere. That will be awesome. Just giving us a beautiful piece of imagery. Right there. As we open it up. There we go. And this one is now starting to settle cardstock is so so thick on these jumbo tags but that's beautiful now let's get something in there what would that be 
we've got some big bookmarks there's a belly band we've got envelopes we still have these little stickers that we can add here and there there's so much so 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 much that we can use i would love to just get a little bit of antique linen over this so that it's not so white honestly don't like the stock white and nothing stops us from adding that there a little bit more interest you can do stamping there if you so wish let's go to the next page we really truly have so much that we can add rather put that on the other side or in another pocket but it will look good anywhere we've got the whole page for journaling back and front we've got the back of this card we've got the hidden journal spot we've got the back of the tag and this little bit so there's lots of journaling space in here we can add some things let's see what is there maybe a postcard seeing that we have one we can add that there so there's lots of space we can add this little booklet i never showed you i finished that one which was that piece of cardstock that was so ugly typed on written on all kinds added a little envelope there some stamping a little pocket here for something tiny which reminds me in here we have those tiny little tags that we can add we can add a label in there and more space something else at the back what will we add there maybe a little there we go and more journaling space from this little booklet and that can also go in there quite beautiful this one what can we do there we can add one of these labels instant just maybe a little bit of the antique linen just to take the starkness away and there we have it that page is embellished with not a lot of time or effort taken to embellish that let's see too many beautiful things too many we can add this little booklet add it journaling space for three sides but it's quite beautiful yet still functioning as a journal spot on here we can add another journal card with a tiny little clip also from tim holtz this you can use you can put it a photo mat you can journal on it it's very flimsy so i wouldn't attach anything floating on it there's another fold out that map is there we can maybe add one of our little pockets exact pockets there let's see what else is there to take we still have so many things to add on here where is the belly band let's grab a belly band tag belly band now this was made for this this was absolutely made for this page from the first or the second session in the series we had made tags and the belly band i'm not sure which one is first i will link the sessions below for you going to add that so that we have a belly band and we can attach some goodies underneath just slip it in there so belly band is attached from the top or the bottom or from the left to right or if you are really very adventurous you can adjust it by going diagonal you will just have to make sure that you fold it properly which is the better way to fold it in so that you have this side before you glue it down on this side because you can trim this side easier than that or if you do it on this side of the page fold this one in so that it has got that line going across you can always trim this or fold it in if you so wish this should attach itself nicely i think i'm going to add the circle tag underneath here i think it's calling for that it is looking quite awesome now in here we can attach our little field notes which is more journaling space it's just adding all that interest everywhere in your journal if this is sliding around you can maybe add a little paper clip again some holes slide it in from there why do i better with these tiny ones tonight they are so cute like really so cute and just guide this down make sure it goes over that page just to hold it a little bit more firmly in place nothing stops you from keeping or using the bigger paper clips to hold things down 
we can put this little one in there when it fits no not quite let's just slide it in there there we go so that is nicely done and you can see that this is quickly going to fill up hence why we will have the four inch spine helping us to accommodate all our goodies all our goodies i like this peeping out from there this there this one let's continue because we still have quite a bit this one you can see is a bit flimsy and um, there's space i mean there's lots of space so let's get something else in there to just help it along i need something a little bit thicker that has got the potential to keep it inside what do we have this side i would like to make a pocket for this one at the end just to add it here because we've got all that space now we don't have to put all the goodies in one place because we still got quite a bit of space in the second signature i'm gluing down this let's just see i want it on three sides only this layered side pocket Just to make sure that this is glued down well then we can add some stuff in here and behind it now we can maybe add that little card there we've got all these beautiful tags let's move one down one up maybe and another one Would that one fit in there not quite this one might there we go and then of course we have this pocket where we can add an envelope there we have our envelope. You can easily add a journal card in there. We will come back to some of these pages. We just want to go across. I just want to add some glue here. Having this glue open gets it to sit in there. And there we have that one. Just squeezing out the extra glue. Again, you can run a baby wipe across. Add something else there. Not too thick, that will be a tuck spot. Maybe that's too wide. When you add something while in while the glue is still wet, just make sure that you don't put it right next to the glue because otherwise you will glue in your thing there indefinitely uh, when they have done that. Want to keep some space for journaling. Let's fold this one over just because we can. Just because we can. I'm going to keep my glue on its side because for some or another reason it takes a bit longer to come out and it's still quite heavy but probably it's time is running out you can add that one that's looking quite cute maybe a library card in this pocket maybe we can add one with another little paper clip can be moved however you want it to be moved and maybe add a matchbook there this bucket is quite flimsy so i'm going to add something else in there maybe one of the specimen cards These tiny little clips are the cutest things, but so, so tiny. All right, I want to move to the other signature now, and then we can come back and fill a few things, put a few things in, because we still have quite a bit. I never glued that one down, and I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So, again, just to find something that will fit in there. There's a tag. Let's move to the other signature. There's still lots of space here for adding things. Maybe not that big. Something else. We really have quite a number of things that we have created. 
Those hidden paper flips. Foot right onto the page without any added effort. I didn't stop the, the recording now in the meantime. This can be a belly band, so I'm going to belly band the top spot. So I'm just going to move this into the view. I hope you can see. I'm just putting a sliver of glue on top there and the bottom. And we can then glue this down. There is already a stamped image there. Just squeeze it to make sure there's not excess glue running out and gluing things together. So let's see what can we add to this pocket here. This is the second signature. Um, I just want to show you how this is filling up. In the beginning, the four inch spine looked as if it was too wide. There's still an array of things here on my desk. So we have the leeway to add more things to our journal because we've got the space for it. I do like this little file thing. Let's add a few goodies there. We have three pockets, so we can add a few things in there. Maybe a tag or two, just to keep things interesting. A journal card, maybe an envelope. What else do we find? We can add this little card, it will fit in, which was really made out of... That one is just too wide, so we can't add that one. I'll retract that. Little cluster. And then we can add the little string again that is keeping it close. Easy to attach again. You can untie it and redo it. I just pulled it off like that. So, going to add that into the pocket now that it's dry. We have that space. And it's falling out, so I'm sure we need to add a little bit more to keep it in there. We really have so many beautiful things still that we can add. Maybe another circle tag. If it will fit in there, let's see. Yes, it just goes in there beautifully. I just saw a paper clip. Let's attach this. There we have that one. It's gorgeous. It keeps lifting, so let's just readjust it. There we go. And here was an envelope. But the inside torn when I had embossed it, so it's really very flimsy. However, we can add another little card in there. Just have that in there. Something a little bit more sturdy, a sticker on this side. Don't like this darkness, but I need to get some ink. As I know it's the last one in the pile. Antique linen again, just to take this darkness away. That white is just too bright for my liking. And no, it doesn't fit in properly with the vintage thing. It doesn't have to be even because that's defying the, the objective. So here is a big envelope. We can really add something quite thick in here. This can maybe go in there. We can add another library card in there. And I'm going to add this tag, tag, sorry, this stuck spot, just on three sides on here. So that we can still add something to the back of it. Okay, we have this just hold on to that now we have this pocket and we can add something to the back of this tuck spot i think that is glued down well this is maybe just too wide for there but it would have been an awesome addition but it will stick out quite a bit so let's see this little booklet oh i like this folio Remember, I first tied it with a string, and then I thought, mm -mm, I want one of these tiny little clips to hold it. They are so darn cute. Lovely space for journaling at the back. Right at the back. Can stick out a tiny little bit. Not too much, but a tiny little bit. It just gives interest to our journal. We don't have any tabs on this, but the next series we will definitely be adding some tabs as well. That's quite cute. I like it there. We can add something here. You can use a normal paper clip if you want. It doesn't have to be these tiny ones. Let's add a little tab there. Journal space, you can write this side. This was the sheet where we added some gesso. If you want to, you can add this there. The page is quite strong as it's copy paper. With this one, we can add a little interest on this side. Just clip it on, move. This is also a little cardstock, so this is suitable to take anything. Um, on here, I would like to take one of the tags. Yes, I'm going to glue it down just with a bit of glue there. Do I want it there? 
now I can't decide. I wanted it on the ear. Yes, let's do that and get it over and done with. So much still to, to add here. Another one that has a, a potential for a pocket. I'm just going to put a bit of glue in there. Not too much. The paper's already thin. You don't want to spoil that. Yes, I did put some glue now on that page. Just wipe it off. A fold it's dry, otherwise it will always have that bit of shine on it. And then also glue on the side. Just a little bit in because that paper is torn. There we go. Just make sure no glue is running out of there. This one. We can also glue it down as we fold at the end anyway. So the intention was always to make that a tiny little duck spot. Duck spots can be vertical or horizontal. Top of the page or the bottom. Top might be tricky. And you can just add maybe a hidden paper clip to the top to just hold it in place. Because gravity tends to pull things out of there. Here I just added the number 13. We can add something else here. Maybe we can add this pocket. That would be perfect. So let's see what we can add here. This is supposed to be a loaded pocket. So a field journal, cards, tags would be perfect to have that. Let's see what do we have left still. This was a piece that was um, from another project where I the paper is too thin and I had intended to emboss a frame on here. And it actually tore on the paper so you can see there's rough edges and I just stamped on that. That can go in there and you can see that part is torn. That's why I didn't use it in my original project that I wanted to use that in. That will probably tear apart at some stage. Let's see. We still have quite a few things. Small library cards. Let's add that. And we can put that one in here. You can see there's something. And with this, I'm going to just attach this one. And this time, I'm going to use a normal paper clip. Just so that you can see we can use any. If you have alcohol inks, you can stain it. So that it is antique looking. I didn't do that today. So you can just attach that with a normal paper clip. And hook it onto your pocket there. Beautiful little piece. That, again, we've got another pocket here. You can add an envelope in an envelope. You can add some journal cards. Quite a few of those. I have quite a bit. And you can pop that in there. And we can also attach one or two here. I'm going to add a plaster that can then be serving as a pocket as well. And some interest to the page or this pocket. Yes, again, some glue is seeping out. Just wipe it before it's dry. And then pops my uncle. I'm going to add this little matchbook, which we made, to this pocket. And I see there's a dollop of glue on my nail. So let's add that. Don't push it in too far as the glue still needs to dry. Otherwise, you will stuck that down. Here we have this little tuck spot with this flap that's folding over. So I would love to incorporate one of these jumbo tags there. I just love them. They are so gorgeous. We have so much. We really, truly have so much that we can still add here and there. We can go back and fill more pockets. This one is a little bit too long, so let's see. Mm, we can trim it off just that tiny bit. Hmm. How did I measure it? I just thought <laughs> it wouldn't fit. It looked as if it was too long. So let's add a bit of glue. I'm not sure about the placement yet. I don't know if I want it on the outside or on the inside. I'm going to do it on the inside. There we have it. And yes, I just put glue on top and at the bottom because I was going to, as I just put the glue, I decided to, to actually just do the bottom. Now this part has got the tiny bit that is just hanging over the page, but it's still perfect. I want to add this Tim Holtz card there. We still have so much that we can add to this anywhere we want. I want to make a, a little spot here for this so that we can add that. Mm -hmm. It can just sit in front. We have this little pocket. Let's add some goodies in there. Like what? What else can we add? Let's see. They are really so much. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Maybe a paper clip this side. Hidden paper clip. Right to the edge of the page. Giving some interest. Pocket with goodies. We can 
to add that one in there. Still lots of space to do journaling in. I want to add something to this page. Let's find some tags, labels. I think half of this is out of the frame. Sorry, my throat is really playing up. Still battling to get this cold sorted. I want to add that there. We've got that one there. Something up there. We can fold this one just for interest sake. We can fold that in half. And we can add this to the top. Not gluing it down so that we can move it and actually still use the page. Lots of journal space. We can add something to this page. I want to maybe another touch this at a different angle, still from the top, but let a part of it hang over the page. How cute is that? So put that tiny little one, this folio here, lots of journal space there. Space to add something. Let's add a little tag there. Another one. So we've got two there. We can have a few things loose in here. Let's add one or two things in here still. We still have space there. That can hold it. There's this. You can always attach something to the back of a paper clip already. That um, makes it more functional. Maybe I can add something here. A little bit. There we go. Something else. We've got quite a bit that we can add. Still want to add this big jumbo tag. We've got this pocket that is shouting to be filled. Let's do a another card as well. And we can do an envelope in there as well at an angle. Quite a bit in there. At the back of this, we can easily add the card because there's a paper clip in that will hold it. And what I want to do is add one of these little circle tags just to add interest to the back of that paper clip. Hidden paper clip. So we're doing this one down. So we've added that there. A pocket here. We've got a beautiful pocket. We can add an envelope there. We can add a card. Add a journal spot. Another tag. And we can even put a little coin ATC in the middle. And I just want to open this so I can get to that part of the envelope and slot it in there. This tag or spot has got nothing in it. I'm going to just glue that down on the side and the bottom. Tiny little top spot giving interest to the to this pocket. And we can add another one of our specimen cards in there. We can add this matchbook that can also go in there because there's room for it. And then we can have a little tag in there with some lace. What else do we have? <clears throat> I'm going to just glue this one down. On this page, just making sure I don't get any glue on my So let's add it this side. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Hmm. And there we have that one. So we can add a few things there. Maybe change this around. Slot that one in there. That one there. And a tiny one in front with a tiny little tag there. There we have that. And then some journal space. This pocket, I just love this one. So gorgeous. It keeps falling over the whole time. So that's telling me it needs something else just to hold it in place. I'm going to add the tickets there just to have a bit of bulk holding it in place. This one is also falling all over. Let me move that one over and make use of the paper to hold it in place. Still space. Such cute little things I want to add. Another one there. That helps. 
journal space, more journal space, and this one really needs something. So I'm going to add some tickets underneath here, just to, to hold that. I've got one here that I can use. Let's add a coin, A to C, journal space, more place, this one, and there we have this. So I still have one paper clip. Let's find a spot for that. I'm going to add this here at the bottom. And just make sure you can open it up at the end. These paper clips are quite strong. That's holding this apart. And I, where do I want to add it now? On the sheet, yes. On the side. And there we have that one. Just adding a little extra interest there. You can have a tab. There's a coin, coin ATC. We can maybe add the labels there. I was so big mouth to say we've got quite a bit here to add. And suddenly it seems as if we, we are missing a few things. This one is truly... There we go. I'll add this one there. It can stay there. But I want to just take that out for a moment. Add that and then put the point ATC back in there. So we still have quite a few of those sticker labels left. We need a little pocket for this little one. So there we have it. Our journal has filled up quite nicely. Remember I told you, four inches seems a lot, but now that we've got everything in there, I'll make it stand upright, you can see. And this is what I said. When you add so many ephemera pieces, it opens up and have this crocodile mouth effect. Can you see where the spy up the cover is? The front and, and the back then. And that's why we include the, the little closure so that we can close our journal. I'm going to slot this pocket in there. I'm not going to add another pocket for it at the end. We're just going to tie this up just with a simple knot, or you can make a bow. It should be strong enough to hold that. And there we have our journal. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut? This is still not. It's a little bit higher than the journal. You can see it's lifting that, but it's not... It's not bothering me sticking out. If it would bother you, just make sure that you size your tags and your belly bands and all of the things that you want to include to stay within the size of your cover. I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you for joining me when I was creating this. I hope you will go and try this for yourself. And if you do, please tag Wawa Crafting on social media. If you want to see more content like this, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel as well as to hit that little bell so that you can be notified whenever there's new content arriving. Do take care of yourself and I will see you in the next series. Bye.